It's Bubba Bash it back with you. How y'all doing out there? I know you're ready for another episode of Bubba Bash it teaching you the long drive. I know people will say, well, you got to work on your short game, your putting to be a winner, but as long as I've lived on this earth, I've never met a person that didn't want to bash the heck out of that golf ball. And well, I'm about to teach you how to do it right now. And I mean right now. Folks, the thing that's keeping you back from making the drives of your life, the kind that you'll tell your grandchildren about, you'll be sitting out on the porch as an old man, as an old lady just rocking, rocking on the porch, and and them grandchildren or great grandchildren will come up and scurry around you, and they'll tell, they'll say, Grandpa, tell me about that time you spanked a golf ball 347 yards. Tell me about that time you stoked one out there straight as a B, straight as a B line, 356 yards. The thing that's keeping you from doing that is in your mind. Your mind is cluttered. And what is it cluttered with? It's cluttered with Facebook. You got to get off that Facebook, folks. If you want to hit the long drive, you got to get off the Facebook. Now, here's what happens. Here is what happens to all of my students. Now, remember, I spent many years on tour and almost as many on the teaching tee. And I know what is happening because uh, I see it. I see a a student on my teaching tee, and they say, just a minute, Mr. Bubba, I got to pull out my phone and check my Facebook. I'm like, boy, not during my lesson, you're not. You can do that back at the grill, but uh, right now we're going to focus on hitting the long ball. And what that tells me is people cannot go 10 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes without checking the gosh darn Facebook. Now, what the hell is going to happen in your life that you can't wait 20 minutes until after your lesson is done with me before you disrespect me with your, with your Facebooking? I don't cotton to that. No way, no how. I mean, what the hell is on Facebook that can't wait? Well, you can't wait to see uh, the latest meme uh, you can't wait to see somebody's pictures of their uh, kid playing hockey. I mean, come on, man. And so what is happening is you're constantly, it's like a, its like some kind of drug, right? I mean, it's like eating potato. It's like sitting down to watch wrestling and eating a whole bag of potato chips. You know it's not good for you, but it's mindless. There's, uh, and, it's, and it's addictive. You eat one chip, you're going to eat two. You eat two, you're going to eat four. You eat four, the next thing you know, your hand is scrambling around, scratching around at the bottom of the bag trying to find at least a chip that is could call itself a chip. I don't mean those crumbs that are down around there. I mean, if, if you're licking your finger and rubbing it along the bottom of the chip bag just to get the crumbs, then you got a real problem right now. But I mean, even if you're just a regular chip, a chip eater, and, and you just pinching your finger and your thumb trying to pick up a chip that could call itself a chip and not a crumb, well, you, then you, then you understand addiction. Then you understand how it could happen. You understand the mindlessness of the activity, and that is exactly what Facebook is. It's a big bag of chips. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, i got to get off of those filterless palm malls. They're about to be the death of me. Folks, I mean, I've been on that Facebook. I'm not a Luddite. I'm not one of these folks that don't keep up with technology. I mean, you come up on my teaching tee, and I'll have you on video. I'll have you on flight scope. I'll have you on track, man. I understand technology, folks. But I don't need to be on that Facebook every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes checking in, people putting, people posting their, their dog. I mean, do you really need to see uh, somebody's dog that is running around the neighborhood, sticking his nose in the garbage cans and pulling things down and acting the fool? And they post it on Facebook and they go, look at my dog acting the fool. Well, 
I mean, see, it's this kind of activity that is cluttering your mind. I mean, and now you can't even get on a gosh darn Facebook without every post being about Trump. I mean, might as well call it Trump book, right? You got your pro-Trumpers and you get your anti-Trumpers. And they go back and forth, back and forth about Trump. I mean, whatever your feelings are about Trump, uh, you can go 20 minutes without having to uh, put kind of put some kind of scathing response to the other side, whatever the other side is. All you can think about is putting in your scathing response like you were the only one that ever thought of it. Well, uh, you're not. That's the thing. You're not. you got to put some of that mental power... Uh, put some of your mental effort, your energy and power into your golf game. I mean, uh, is the world, uh, do you think Trump is going to do anything different because you wrote a scathing response to some knucklehead on Facebook? Of course not. I mean, that boy, if anything we've learned, that boy's going to do whatever the hell he wants. He's been doing that forever. I mean, it's not like he's doing something different than what he's ever done. He's just, he, he just follow. He just marches to the beat of a different drummer, and there's nothing that you and there's nothing that you can say that's going to change the tune. So while you're uh, getting all twisted, getting all twisted on Facebook, writing a scathing response, you are not focusing on hitting the long drive. So then what happens is you come out to my teaching tee, and you 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 hit a couple of ducks. You hit a couple of ducks right off the range, and I go, what the hell is going on? What is on your mind? And then uh, you say, oh, nothing. Everything's fine, Bubba. Everything's fine, Mr. Bubba. And then then 10 minutes later, I turn around. While I was playing with the cables on the video camera, I turn around, and you've sneaked your your phone out, and you're checking your Facebook. Well, like I said, I'm going to put up a sign. I'm going to put up a sign on my teachings tee, and it's not going to say no Facebook. It's going to say, if I catch you checking Facebook, I'm going to kick you off of my teaching list. You're not even going to be able to be taught by a former PGA pro. You are going to lose your opportunity to get the teachings, the magic, the wisdom of Bubba Bashing. And, uh, I mean, I'm not saying I'm the be-all, end-all. But I'm going to give you a hell of a lot better chance to master this game than you getting on Facebook and seeing what your neighbor's cat is up to. I mean, that's what they got now is Facebook Live. You can get on Facebook and start broadcasting live. That's right. I mean, it wasn't bad enough that you just couldn't get, you couldn't just scroll through your news feed and check out every dumb video that ever came along. Now people are broadcasting live. So you well, and so you say, well, that'll be interesting. I'd like to see some interesting things from around the world. Well, I would too, but none of y'all are using Facebook Live to put anything interesting on there. You just broadcasting what you had for breakfast. Well, we'll stop the presses. You had some scrambled eggs. I mean, uh, more power to you. Why don't put some? Why don't you put some pepper and salt on them, and then send me a tweet. Why don't you put some pepper and salt right on your eggs and then send me a tweet that you did that and then take a picture of your own juice and put it on Instagram. I mean, I'm all for the new media, folks, but put something on there that is worthwhile. And while you're putting this junk all over social media, you are not spanking the ball. So I'm here to tell you right now, folks. If you want to hit the ball 357 yards, and I know you can. I know you can because I've taught people from all walks of life to do it. I've taught children to do it. I've taught junior golfers to do it. I have taught an old lady of 78 how to spank the golf ball over 300 yards, and she hugged me tighter than she's ever hugged a man or a dog in her life. She was strangling me. She was so happy I told her to spank the ball. And I can do the same for you right now. And I mean right now. And the first step for you is to get off of that gosh darn Facebook. Folks, this is Bubba Bashit, and I'm here to do one thing and one thing only. And that's to teach you how to take a golf club and crank it and spank it. That's the end of this video lesson. And until next time, 
I'll see y'all then.